next stage, and they are looking for trouble. What can you see beyond the darkness? Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It sound right, boy. And boom! Boom! What's this? A crossover episode? What's going on? This isn't where Tom lives. Tom doesn't live here. You're right. This is not your boy. What's going on? I'm really loud, aren't I? Am I too loud? Let me crank that down. Skudez, straight in there. How did you write that quick? I wonder. Very quick. Hi. Hello. Um, yeah, I know. Jenks put a bit of weight on. <laughs> Hello, uh, it's Tom Campbell from Cultaholic, and I am doing. Uh, I'm kicking open a forbidden door, as we say in the wrestling world. But this is not the wrestling world. No, this is uh, the the world of the video games. Thanks to our friends at Triple Jump, I am very delighted to be sat on the infamous, the infamous couch with Emma and friends it's nice to see you skudez thank you very much for the bits already is it all right ben we came so close to getting it perfect what happened oh we were nearly there we were so close desktop audio should be good there we've got it it's unmuted perfect sorry if you sent a bit and you didn't get a noise uh thank you skudez how are you i'm good thank you lovely to see you there uh, very excited to see you play the game. I'm very excited to play it as well. Thank you for the 100 bits. That's very, very kind of you. Uh, AC, hello, friend. 20 bits. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. This is like when Shane McMahon appeared on Nitro. <laughs> I think it is, isn't it? It's very much like Shane McMahon appearing on Nitro. Uh, Skadez. Tom, what are you doing here? To quote the classic Smackdown review. Game. I know. What a confusing time we live in. <laughs> Posh Bertie doing, what are you doing here? Posh Bertie, thank you for the 100 bits. Very kind of you. Good to see you too. I'm going to put my headphones on. Because so, there's little noises and stuff that play on this one. They, they've got a wonderful operation here at Triple Jump. Thank you very much for, for having me on this afternoon. Peter Austin certainly does look different. You're right, Jenny. It's a very different <laughs> being. 
100 bits on consumable Pete. What's Tommy Kimball doing in the triple jump zone? What's <laughs> Tommy Kimball doing in the triple jump zone, Michael? It's very true. What is he doing here? Well, I'll tell you what he's doing here. He's here because James Jenkins, Jenkins, James Jenkins, James Jen Jen Jenkins is on holiday. He is shell stacking in the Sudan. So that means that there was a, a, an availability this afternoon to come and play on the triple jump way. So a game came out just the other day and I've been desperate to share it with you, with the world in general. And I thought triple jump, the, the gorgeous people at triple jump, this seems like the right place to come and do just that. And I'm very grateful they've let me come on. We're going to play a game today. You may have already seen it. It's probably in the, the titles and stuff that Ben has very kindly put together. Uh, we're playing a game called uh, <laughs> Spectacular Sparky, um, which is made, made by a guy called Sam Beddoes. James for BBC Radio Newcastle. Yes, let's move him. Let's move him to BBC Radio Newcastle. I'm down for that. Thank you very much for the Tommy kind Campbell, words. The man of the hour, <laughs> the king of the castle. That's what Skadesh sounds like. Vintage, Who knew? The best man, the number one guy. Who knew? Love That's you, a... Tom. Love you too. Smile. 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 It's nearly Christmas. <laughs> Thank you very much for the 100 bits, Skadesh. It's very kind of you. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, thank you so much for being here. So uh, I don't think we're going to waste too much time on this today. Um, I've just realised I've got to get my steps in at some point. So at some point during the next hour, I've got to move around the room. I'll let you in on a little thing. I've been wearing my Fitbit uh, for the past week and I've so far got a, a streak of 12 active hours every day. I need to keep that up. Lolly Lama! What is this a crossover? <laughs> what episode? is this? A crossover episode? I think if I was to be any TV character, I probably would be Mr. Peanut Butter. So I'm, I'm happy with that. With, with that comparison I, I'm just <laughs> Ben you got hot Ben was always Ben's the hottest you you pipe nerdy stew thank you it's very kind though Ben's the hottest we've been informed that this is very much a Dan Housen stream no swearing or else the loaf on the shelf will be very sad no swearing okay no flipping bleeping scooby doobing swearing that can be done uh, we're playing a game today called Spectacular Sparky, a break from your usual uh, production. Uh, this is a game made by Sam Beddoes. Sam Beddoes is the man behind the angry video game nerd games. Fun factoid. <laughs> Skadez, calm yourself. TTJ Cheeky Ben. Skadez, Cheeky Ben. Skadez, thank you very much for the 100 bits. That's very kind of you. Um, yeah, so this is made by uh, Sam Beddoes. He made the angry video game nerd games. And he's just a very, very clever man indeed. And it was way back in like 2017 that he asked me if I wanted to be involved. And I actually voice a character very early on in the game. And I, that's part of the reason why it's kind of arrogant to, to want to play a game that I'm in. Uh, but, and we sat, he sat on this game for years. He really did, like this game's been tweaked and stuff for a long, long time but it's ready to go. It got released last week on Steam and on Nintendo Switch. So if you love it, of course, I'm going to encourage you actively to support my wonderful friend, Sam Beddoes and his team at Freak Zone Games who put this thing together. Uh, thank you so much. Right, I'll tell you what, let's crack on. Thank you so much for people being here today. We've nearly got a hype train. That's exciting. That's very exciting, isn't it, Emma? Isn't it exciting, Emma? That we got a hype train. Look at you. Why, this is far cosier than the Cultaholic streaming setup. I'm just saying, this is far cosier. Don't, don't tell him I said that though. Don't tell him I said that. Should we play a bit of Spectacular Sparky? G.Y. Goliath, thank you very much for the gifted subs. And hello to uh, Bra uh, Bragnaya, Twirly You, uh, Ron Dudu, Steel Aldino, and Mr. Hardluck, who are now part uh, of the family. And thank you very much as well to N64 Life Podcast for the 100 bits. Thank you kindly. That message will pop through, I think, imminently, if it hasn't done so already. Thank you very much uh, to, to Cliff from N64 Life Podcast. There he is. I'll let them do those things. Right, okay, let's do a thing. Let's play a game, shall we? Should we play a game? Let's play a game. We're going to play a game. So if I press, see if I've got this right. If I press this, no. there we go. I thought I'd be able to hear game audio, but I think... If I, there we go. There is game audio. Excellent. 
I'm just, I would like to. There he is. There he is. But now, is that loud enough for everybody? Volume wise, are we okay? I'm aware that the mic, the camera mic might have just shot up. Can everybody hear everything okay? I think they can. Well, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough if we can't. Right, I think volume wise, volume levels were okay. I'd get an angry message if I wasn't. So, we're gonna play Spectacular Sparky. Now, I, and this is the thing as well, like this is. Spectacular Sparky. Finally, they've done a video game about <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> They did indeed, Posh Birdie. They did indeed. Uh, so this is a game like this. This like this really hits me in the feels. This game hits me in the Tom nostalgia Campbell. feels. Welcome to the Walrus Clan. Already, you're already a member. Thank you very much. Honored to be a member of the Walrus Clan, and thank you to new subscribers to the Walrus Clan as well. You are officially part of the Triple Drunk family. Uh, and it's lovely to have you here. This is a one-off from me. If you're new to this channel, you're going to meet Ben, Peter, and Ashton, and you're going to fall in love with them. And James Jenkins as well. He's all right, too. So, Spectacular Sparky. This, this really hits me right in the feels. It's got a nice 90s. Already you can tell. You can hear. It's got that 90s sort of platformy Sonic the Hedgehog-esque vibe to it, and I love the bones of it. Um, and we're going to crack on with the campaign mode. Uh, this is the game story mode. We're going to wreak havoc with different worlds. Now, you're going to. Uh, I think there's a story. I think you get a little backstory to Sparky, so I don't need to explain it too much. Let's just go for it. Here we go. Very robotic. Sparky, you little hellion. I got work for you. Why, if it isn't my favorite porcine privateer, Shaggy. Always a pleasure to see your money. I mean, face. Beautiful <laughs> face. He's a bounty hunter. Something new with your nose? By the way. My beauty regime is my own business, Furball. Now plant those pads down and let's talk bounties. I'm all ears. <laughs> Papa, See what jokes don't bring home the bacon, funny guy. Listen up, you might learn something. There's this guy, right? Calls himself Planet Dave. Planet Dave. I don't know if he's actually a planet, but that's kind of irrelevant. On account of him treating life in Sector 2109 like an all-you-can-eat buffet. Mm. <laughs> Yaz right to gasp, Spark. First of all, he munched up the squad of my boys I sent in to neutralize him. What do you say? Reckon you're the guy destined to put him down? It's written in the stars, Chigsy. Well, that or planet blood. I'll let you know when I get back. You get this bounty, and there'll be plenty more like it, Spark Plug. That's a guarantee. Chig, this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. Ah. So he's a bounty hunter, and he's about to stop Planet Dave. Here we go. Oh, look at it. Look at it, though. Look at it, though. Uh, Tom, how long are you on till today? Uh, I'm here till about five o'clock. So you've got two hours. Look at this. Look at eight. Hey, here we go. I'm very excited. Very excited for this part. What a fine day for intergalactic bounty hunting it is. Hi, I'm DJ Cosmosis, and you're listening to Tutor ELFM, bringing you all the best tips and tricks for bringing the pain to those bad guys. That's me! That's me! I'm in a game! I'm in a, I'm in a game on Steam and Switch! I think that allows me passage to Smash Brothers. I'm so happy. So excited. Ooh. Hey Tom, just wanted to say I hope you're doing well. Thank you. The game looks brilliant. It we'll definitely have to get it. I grew up with an Amiga, played a lot of the Mega Drive and had a PlayStation, so yes. platformers always hit me right in the nostalgia. Oh, you're going to love this then. You're going to love this. Dude, you're in a game. I know, right? Thank you, The Farewell, for the 100 bits. Thank you to JL Soryu for the 100 bits as well. That's really kind of you. Posh, but is that the guy from Radio Newcastle? It's certainly you. Thank you very much. So this is Sparky. So it's a bit shoot 'em up It's a bit platform. It's a bit good. Um, we're going to... I'm going to need to look at... I need to choose a screen to look at. I'm going to look at this <laughs> I'm far too excited. It's Friday. I've had a really good day. May have just had a conversation with Biggie. And I'm playing Spectacular Sparky. Everybody knows about jumping, but if you think happy thoughts and keep tapping the jump button, you might even fly. Keep an eye on that stamina, though. It's a long way down. Oh, okay. DJ Cosmosis, you sexy sounding DJ. I hope you don't get, you lose your job through deregulation like I do. Right, so, 
By tap A, he flies. So he's a shooty, shooty boy, and he's a flighty, flighty boy. Look at this, flighty, flighty boy. There you go. Lovely stuff. Watch your heat meter. Thank you, DJ Cosmosis. You delightful man. Or alien. Not sure what you are. You just, you just embodied in a... Oh, no, my... Me, oh, I should have watched me. Why didn't I listen to my own advice? I should have watched my heat meter. And now I die. I didn't watch my heat meter. I got too hot. Too hot to handle and too cold to hold. The ears. I know, right? Aren't they adorbs? Well, Brotvik, yes. It has been quite the day. Large E. Spoiler. I'll announce that on Twitter, though. And being in a video. It's, it's, been, it's been quite the week. It's been quite the week. Ah, the essential dash maneuver. maneuver. Hit the dash button and you'll zip past all of your responsibilities. It yes. takes a lot of energy to be this dashing mind, so watch that stamina meter. Yeah, you tell him. You tell him, DJ Cosmosis. Okay. So that's how you dash. Like, it's funny because I'm, I'm going, oh my god, I'm in a game. I'm not actually listening to the guidance that I'm getting at all. I'm just, like, too excited to be in a game. I realize I'm not quite sending it, well. So if I can... Tutor ELFM is brought to you by Easy Bust Armor. The more you have, the less it hurts. It ain't brain science. Armor degrades with every hit you take. So keep yourself topped up. Keep yourself topped up. Never true words said. <clears throat> I'm gonna look at this screen. I can't decide which screen to look at. I'm just too excited. I'm just happy to be at the house. No. Tom not listening to his own advice. It's true. If, if there was ever a, a truer allegory for my own life, I ain't listening to my own advice. I mean, the, the heat meter is a nice little touch made by Samba. Because it stops you just running through the level going, ah! It actually means you've got to be a bit more considered with your, your blastering. You've got to think about it a little bit more. You've got to be a little bit more careful. I like how these things come down really cute. And then they go, Burr! Loving the enemy designs this Charlie. I know, isn't it brilliant? Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, game a standard blaster has two, count them, two ammo slots. You can switch your current ammo type with the weapon swap button. The weapon swap button. So that's the Y button there. Oh, I forgot to zap through there. I told myself that earlier. The more you have, the less you hurt. Great start, great start line for a larger company. <laughs> Beautiful ammo bit there. Oh, I'm excited for that. I've, I've, done, I've done Sober October. I'm off the booze. So, for the time. Get the thing. I know, I know a bit about this game. I don't know all the ins and outs of the game. And I kind of like it that way. Like, I like not knowing everything. Tired of running around when all you want to do is shoot diagonally? Yes! Why don't you just hold the aim button, you flippin' idiot? Or maybe you want to walk backwards while shooting forwards? You absolute mad lad! Use the aim lock button to lock your aim and move around. Sometimes you just <clears> have to get out there, try things, and see what happens. That's how I got all of my favorite lacerations. The rest is up to you. You've been listening to DJ Cosmosis on Tutor ELFM. Happy hunting. Thank you very much. Now, that is the end of my part in the game. So. <laughs> uh, let me just reply to Owen on this thing. Um, that's the end of my part in the game. Uh, and here's the nice thing. I like the radio voice, man. That's a good answer, Lord. What's, what I, what's really special about that What's really special about that is that I recorded those lines in my old job.
Like that's how long ago this was started to be put together. Uh, in the old radio studios I used to work at, I recorded the lines there. So, and, and it's a job that I lost a few years back, a few years later, maybe two years later. Um, and, uh, and it was very sad. I'm here now and it's quite nice to hear those lines knowing that was in my old job. That's nice. It's nice stuff. Uh, <laughs> shut it down. Shut it. That's, that's, that's it. We're going to switch down. Is this where Train Guy got his lingo <laughs> from? It might be. Radio Voice Man is the best part of the game confirmed. Well, there's plenty more to come. Thank you. I don't know whether he's in the chat. He did threaten to come by. But thank you to Freak Zone Games, Sam Bello, for genuinely making a, a dream of mine come true. Like, it, honestly, honestly, God. Like, it made, a, it made a little dream of mine come true being in a video game. It really did. So, thank you. I'm a very lucky boy. Oh! I'm a very, very lucky boy. That's a Friday. I'm gonna have a dinner with you today. Oh, it's, it's all good today. It's all good. I hope you're good as well. I hope you are good as well. Time next time you're on the radio, introduce yourself as DJ Cosmosis. You know what? I might. Oh, the vo Who's domain is this? Dustin. Gotcha. And you are? Dustin. <laughs> we cleared that up. I don't want to fry the wrong guy. <laughs> all the scripting and all the voice acting is just just gorgeous. Just Let's this fry Dusty. Let's swap out the weapon. This seems more effective. It's killing me in the process. I know. I can zap through him. That's not a bad shout. And now he gets to Big E and play. Yes, there's that as well. Like, oh, I died. And I died. If Sam is in the chat, he's going to be furious at how bad I am. I'm going to do this guy. Yes, 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 yes. You are dusty. We know this. I've enjoyed the dialogue. He's skipping through other people who died. <laughs> what a rude man I am. <laughs> I should introduce myself as DJ Cosmosis. Thank you for the 20 bits, by the way. It's Dusty's domain, then. He don't know what hard times are, daddy. Good shout, my scope. It's a good shout, it's a good little that. He's taking some doing, is this boy? Watching the heat meter at the same time. Come on. Let me have you. I'll have you. Oh, I keep getting caught by your pollen. I'm going to die again. Oh, get away from me. Oh. <laughs> Freak Zone Games. Sam's going to be joyous. The fact that I'm stuck on the first level. <laughs> <laughs> Joyous, I tell you. I've got to watch out because he shoots his spores. Oh, he shoots eight meters. Right. It'd be funny if the whole game is just me, the whole stream is me trying to get past the first one. I never said I was a good gamer. I just said I was a, I was a retro gamer. I said I was a good record. Is this the part when you are a, a on a video game streaming channel that you start blaming the technology? Is this where I start going dark side fill on you? I just need control of this game! Everybody hates me! Oh god. Or is this where I go wings of redemption and just start throwing the control across the room? I'm still learning you. Oh, for flip's sake! It's pro gamer! <laughs> Nathan Metcalf, I'm good, thank you, mate. Thank you very much indeed. Right, come on. Come on, I've, 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 mo I've lost multiple lives here. Right, we've got this this time. It's a bro- it is- you know what? You're right, it is a broken controller. I've just checked. The controls of this game! Not very good content. Right. The heat meter's gone up again. Right, easy. Stop 
throwing his spores at me. Oh yeah, I forgot I can do that. Being in the game not afford you access to cheat code, but sadly not. Go! I can't get past Dusty on the dragon of Right, grab, 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 grab. We did it! Stage clear! Isn't it funny that the guy who offers the tutorial struggled past the tutorial level? Mm. Now, I seem to remember me and Sam had a great conversation about this. How the next level starts immediately after the first level. It is an homage to Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Which did it's an homage. Not Sonic 2 or 1, Sonic 3. We had many beers and discussed this game over the last couple of years. I'm so excited to play it. Stop Waffle! Love you to see you on a Friday looking happy and stuff. Stop Waffle, the world is good. The world is good. For as long as it's good, I'm happy that it's good. And I hope you are too. First try soloed it, thanks to Goku. You have to see some of the, uh, the, the cool game awards the other lads use, like Warrus Clan. And oh yeah, here we go. Sports time! And other words are died! Livid! Did it infinitely matter? Oh! <laughs> This is going exquisitely. I'm glad I picked super normal mode for this one. I'm proud of you. Sam, I hope you appreciate how well I'm selling the game for you. <laughs> I'm well selling his game, aren't I? Well selling. Uh, It's Friday and I already have a Fiera bend, says Stoffwaffle. Could you educate me as to what a Fiera bend is? That was uh, exciting. Right. Whoop. Nope, you bugger. Ah, done with work. Ah, I like that. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna find a way to use Fiera. In fact, at five at five o'clock, I am too Fiera Ben. No! I'm Fiera Ben with this game! Joking, I'm still in. I think I think he's gone the infinite lives route, for which I am I will be eternally grateful. This is the case. Watch your heat meter! You English people need a word for that. I think we just say pub. Clocking off. I guess is the closest to Fiera Ben. Fiera Ben. Fucking off. What do you have planned for Monday stream, Tom? Lolly, I will give you an exclusive on the Cultaholic Twitch stream plans later on. Oh, I think I'm going to get my What is that? Oh, look at all the eyes. Too many eyes, if anything. Ah, I can just stuff it behind me. Last bit of bottle. Morning, everyone. Sorry, I'm late. James, my god, that is an extraordinary Tom costume. <laughs> I know, right? Thank you very much for the 100 bits, Mr. Black. It's very kind of you. Oh, flip. Flip and dive. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. Here we go. Sports time. Here we go. Shooting weird alien time. 
Thank you for the 200 bits as well, Mr. Black. Thank you very, very kindly. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Tom Campbell time. I've heard Tom Campbell before, but I've done not heard Tom in a before. I'm going to give this everything I've got. Everything I've got. Thank you for the 100 bits, Cozy. Yeah, we killed the eye child. Skipper the eye child is deed. We'll have those. Thank you. That was a shorter level than before. Either that or I was just really crap at the first level. And it just took longer. Probably the last. Right. Brain forest round three. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Up that way. Round we go. Round we go. Up, up the hill. Round the castle. Dodge you. Dodging you. Get gone. I'm going to keep the triple cannons. They seem nicer. Move out the way. I've got a rocket. Here we go. Sports time. War is clan. Uh, big man, Co uh, Beng man Cobra. Wanted to say thank you. Uh, enjoyed the chat with Denise on Desert Island. Thank you. That is, that's a uh, podcast I do for Cultaholic, uh, which is wrestling based normally. And a few other people. We've had. Um, so basically, the, the premise is we ask wrestling fans to choose their three favourite wrestling fans. Tom is super effective against time monsters. <laughs> yes, N64 Live. Yes, Cliff. We. <laughs> that's that's how I live my life. Uh, Desert Island Graps uh, that uh, Bengman speaks of. It's uh, an interview show for wrestling people, uh, asking them their favourite wrestling matches. And it isn't just wrestlers that are on it. Uh, we had Gerard the Completionist on it uh, um, about a month or so back. Uh, we had, who else have we had, had it from the video game world? We've had a few people uh, from the video game world that have been so far. But you are the completionist in the uh, By the way, Google says it sounds like a fine little gosh hammer dot AA middle dot fat. Well, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Completionist. We did have Triple Jump's very own Ben Potter. How could I forget about Ben Potter? Ben Potter indeed was that. Apologies to Ben Potter. How rude of me to forget that. Ben, Ben, it was lovely to chat to Ben. Ben is a, Ben's a wrestling fan, a little bit. And it was just enough an excuse for us to have a chat and me talk about my, my first incredibly awkward interaction with Ben. Nothing to do with Ben, all 150% to do with me. And if you're good, why is that? It's the thing! Oh, Jesus! Right, it's... If you're good, I'll tell you about it later. If you haven't heard it already. My first very awkward experience with Ben. And again, nothing to do with Ben being awkward at all. All to do with <laughs> I think I, I did tell him on Desert Island Crap. He's a jumpy boy. Ah. Oh. Try this again. Who else was on it? There's another gaming person, uh, another person from the wonderful gaming community that was on Desert Island Graps that, that has fallen out of my brain. Give me a second, I'm going to check. I'm going to give you a rundown. Of, so you can get these episodes on Spotify. No harm in plugging, right? No shame in self plugging. Um, so they're all available on they're all available on the uh, on Spotify. There's a Desert Island Graps podcast feed stream. Ben Potter's been on it. Gerard the Completionist has been a part of the show. Andrew Hodkinson from Cultaholic. You've seen him on here a few times. He's been on it as well. Robotron's been on it. He does uh, Twitch streams, the, the video game online and stuff like that. He's really, really cool. He's the guy behind the dark room. Kim Justice has been on it. Of course Kim's been on it. Uh, Kim's got a massive love of Japanese pure resu and a massive love of vintage gaming. So Kim's been on it as well. Kim Justice was lovely. Um, who else have we had of... Uh, of a of a rest of a of a video, uh, uh Phelan Porteous. He doesn't really play many games anymore. Does he? Just watches a lot of older films. Matt McMuscles has been on it. Of course, Matt McMuscles has been on it. Uh, we had a lovely chat with Matt McMuscles about his love of video gaming and, and other things. He was on there as well. He was a great laugh. Uh, so yeah, though loads of them. Mr. Biffo. If Mr. Biffo is a wrestling fan, which I suspect he might be, then he's very invited to. No Simon Miller. Um, I can mention Simon Miller on the Triple Triple Track. Not that I can't, obviously. I, I, I hope you will appreciate it. Oh, Joe Hendry. 
Joe Hendry makes him better. I like Joe Hendry. I'm, I'm, I've got a lot of time for Joe Hendry. Oh, God, I'm going to take a shoe in from... Right. I could do with not getting tired so quick. I've got no armor left. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Stop overheating. Oh, the overheating thing sucks, Sam. I'm kidding. It doesn't. It's a good idea. <laughs> outside Xbox, of course. I forgot outside Xbox were on it as well. I very much forgot the outside Xbox were on there. I had a lovely chat with the, the, the two lads from outside Xbox. They were great fun as well. Uh, Desert Island Grapple for us. We chat about wrestling and video games. Oh, God. <laughs> Sam, I'm very sorry if you're watching this. Mm. Uh. Mm. I'm not very good. <laughs> Your triple jumping that you required to do a Simon Miller impression. Or an impressive Simon Miller if you're going to be European about it. Okay, come on. You are the most annoying. Oh, hang on, I can do the little zippy thing. So this, the, the the news today, the lad who did you the tutorial forgets how to play the game. Here we go. Apologies if in the chat you mentioned the zippy. Go! Mind your stamina. Good point by Mr. Black. Are we sure this is a bad guy? <clears throat> Maybe he just likes jumping and we happen to be standing in his way. Alright, round four, Brain Forest. Oh, look at this! Call back to Sonic 2 on the Master System! Sam! I know! I know what you're doing here! I see ya! I see ya! He knows what he's doing. He's like, he's popping me. He made a whole game just to pop me. Pro gamer. Thanks for the pro gamer love. I am indeed a pro gamer. I am the proest of all time. Looks like something. Yes. Right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Sonic, uh, Tom's inner child is, is having the best day. The best day. Not only is he playing a game that features his voice, made by his friend, his dear friend, that has a very Sonic the Hedgehog feel, but he did so, he is doing so about an hour after interviewing the WWE Champion. Like, hi, how is, how is this life? How is, how is this a life? How I don't... I do not know how this is alive. It is wild. What a world. What a world. What a world. I am very lucky. Anyway, I know it's boring. They have to put it there. Sorry about that. That's a good friend of mine. It all ends tomorrow, I've done all that. Right. Yay, we did it! And straight into war! Calm down! <laughs> How you been, old buddy? Me no chrome, though. Me no know you. It's me, Sparky! The adorable little guy who's gonna end you and collect the sweet bounty. <laughs> Puny verbal, no can harm mighty planet day. Please, Sparky, you will dance me. 
Planet Dave. <laughs> so this is the infamous, oh gosh. This is the infamous Planet Dave. Let's have his life. Let's have his guts for garters. As we say in the old country. I like Planet Dave, he's a bit Robocop. I think if I do stream this again, I'll get Sam. I'll get Sam. I'll make Sam um, I'll get him on. Oh! You're not a planet at all. You're a beast stroke it off. Lee Meads, thank you for plugging the Cultaholic channel. Bless you, you're not paid to do that, we are. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Yeah, you decorate. Right, here we go. Down and around we go. Yay! Oh. What's that? You're gonna have to speak more clearly, Dave. These stars in my ears must be affecting my hearing. I like the new Dave. So articulate. <laughs> <laughs> No, I died. Livid. Do I have to do the whole thing again? Yeah. Hello, Planet Dave. Yeah, 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 And bye. And hello, and bye. And hello, bye. Hello, bye. Hello, bye. Hello, bye. Ah, so here's my strategy. Shoot, 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 and that. Shoot, 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 and that. Shoot, 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 and that. Ah, oh, Freak Zone Games is in! I'm watching this on my phone in a pub with my son stuck to me in a computer. That's the only way to watch these streams, Dave, uh, sir. And he called you Dave then, but that's Planet Dave. Well, you're not a planet at all. Right. You're a in the chat, you will see Freak Zone Games. He made this. Freak Zone Games made this game. Follow him, support him, he streams too. Show him the love. He made this game. He made a childhood dream of mine come true. He is now a dad. He is the loveliest. Give Freak Zone Games all the loves. He made what you are seeing. <laughs> I cannot emphasize that enough. Right. And I feel ra I'm worried now because I've been pretty crap on this game up until this point. I like the new day. So articulate. So articulate. See? Oh. Sam, before you came in, I was doing really well. Hey, I wasn't. Hey. Oh, that's naughty. Sparky. Hey, Sparky. Hey, Sparky. <laughs> Hey, hey, Sam, how, how, how fun is this, mate? Remember me and you having a pint talking about this game years ago? Sat at a pub, I think, in your neck of the woods talking about this game. Here we are. It's out. Playing it. You did it. You did it. You did it. How cool, man. I remember we sat at the pub all the way. Very funny. Planet Dave, very difficult. I'm sure. I have a You're not a planet at all. You're a big stroke at all. The difficulty says the option. I don't have to start over. Amazing. Oh, that was it. Yeah, you, me, and Mensky at the after party. Went to play grabber machines in, in Kelton. What a day. Hi James, did you do something with your hair? Yes, and I put a lot of waves on. Watch your health. Watch your heat meter. 
watch your heat meter. Get away. I'm, I'm dancing very close to the wind here. There we go. That'll do. Eat it. Yes. We have unlocked Beef Stroganoff as an achievement. Yay. We saved the kingdom. Yay. Did it. Look at the egomatic there. That's yeah, what you're I'm doing pretty sure that guy wasn't a planet. More like a meatloaf with delusions of grandeur. <laughs> you never let me down, Spark. Glad to hear it, Shake. Now, ahem, where's my share? All right, all right, you little jackal. Little jackal. Your next target has a name, Sparky. Sergeant Blown Apart. Reckon you're up for it? Ooh, a military name. Ain't that a little close to home for you, Shakesy? Um, who played Sergeant Blown Apart? Blown apart free zone. Sam, is it? Remind me who played Your Sergeant Bow Blown Apart. Salt of the Earth went nuts after a surprise date with a triple filter plasma grenade. Now, what's left of it has taken an entire city hostage. War really is hell. Really? I thought that was you. Oh, shit, you know me so well. Let's do this. Sean Barrett. That's the guy. Sean Barrett's very, very good as a voice actor. Is there a version of all the characters I'm voiced by Tom? Regular folks usually come with two kidneys. No, they do that. You learn something new every day. I suppose what I mean is, you gotta be on your toes when it comes to solving. At least the Tom cut. No, you don't. Real Hang on. There's a few people in here who are, who are playing along today who watched on Monday on the Cultaholic Twitch. I did a one man performance of Romeo and Juliet. You know what I'm like with voice acting. You know it's not good. You don't want me doing all <laughs> Unless they all talk like a radio presenter. I like the casual bands whilst just blitzing through the sky. We've got to get the bounty. They all look like little metal sonics. Aw, uh, come on. Just one. Teddy, pretty, please, with a cherry bomb on top. Well, did I ever tell you about the sonics? A man of a thousand and four voices. And they're all crabs. <laughs> so this is fun. We're going to give you the backstory while saying it. I like how it's sort of storytelling now. Not like, not in a drug sense. You're supposed to cry laughing at you. Ah! Stop right there, you little freak! Nobody enters, nobody leaves! Cookie? Okay. That's top cookie to you, you no good yellow belly! Wait a minute. Shig? Ooh, is this about to get spicy? It's been a long time since I heard your voice, Cookie. You're as intimidating as ever. Still wrapped around Sarge's little finger, I see. Still wrapped around Sarge's little finger. Honey, the good soldier always follows her orders. But you wouldn't know about that, would ya? Never. You don't owe nothing to what's left of that maniac. The hell's in it for you anymore, anyway. Vacation, a good dental plan, and the sweet satisfaction of not being a darn treacherous swine. Oh. Sea swine. He's a shark pig. Or a pig shark. Either way, a beautiful freak of nature. Can it, Buzzbite? All that. I see is a lily liver deserter and his silly toy bunny. Don't forget, cute, fluffy, and fixin' to turn a giant space lady in a giant space chunk so she doesn't get out of my way! <laughs> Sparky, eh? Hey. on, pussycat! Sparky is, is, is the, the hero that we need at this time. My Fitbit went off. I need to take a hundred steps. If you were human, me, I'm gonna take a hundred steps. I would like to say you follow me around, but I don't know. Oh. 
Sorry, Cookie, but you're about to do a die. It was indeed a pre-match promo in the, from the wrestling world. Yay! Stick it up, you jumper! Battered you. Battered you. Loyal to the very end. Oh, poor Cookie. That's what I call a dishonorable discharge. <laughs> you okay there, Shigo? Oh, he's sad about Cookie. War never changes. Except sometimes when it does. Ah! Oh. And that's how the cookie crumbles. But um Thank you, N64 Life. Hundred bits, thank you very much. Kill it does a man, the world of good. I guess what I'm trying to say is war changes a lot. Just so long as you never change, Shigzy. Never change, Shigzy. Never change, Shigzy. I don't know where that accent came from. Amazing. Oh, it just, oh, it just feels so Sonic the Hedgehog. Right, we are still streaming. It's not the end of the stream, but I'll keep my mic on so I can just pace. So just to let you know why I'm suddenly standing up. So I, uh, over the weekend, noticed that I was getting fat, uh, fatter rather. So I decided I need to do something about it. So uh, I've been on a, a, a sort of strict diet type thing this week, limited intake, yada, yada, yada. But I also got my Fitbit back out. And what I've been doing is on the Fitbit, if you have one, you'll know this, you get, um, you get active hours. So you're meant to do 250 steps per hour for 12 hours a day. And since Monday, I have a perfect streak of 12 out of 12 and we recorded a podcast today over at cultaholic that took about three and a half hours and i still managed to find time to nip away get my steps in and head back you won't notice when you watch it but i did and i'm now at a point where i am so buttock clenchingly close to a full week of this that i i just want to get this done i'm i've got about 40 steps to go and then we're back in the game and I haven't got to think about it till just before five o'clock <laughs> basically that's that's the plan right nearly done nearly done nearly done thanks for joining us on the stream today really appreciate your patience during this weird sort of interval on the stream 45 46 47 48 there we go and we are done. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Right. Here comes the hot stepper. We, feast, <laughs> we fit stream with Tom when? You should be so lucky. Right. Mechopolis. This is, oh, this is adorable. It's a bit carnival night, Sam. It's a bit carnival night. Uh, Mr. Black, is this a normal Fitbit thing? I think it is, yeah. I think basically... Two babies worth of subbing. Thank you so much, Hodge Master. Resubbed to Triple Jump for 17 months in a row. Thank you so much for supporting the, the team at Triple Jump. Thank you for supporting Ashton, Peter, and Ben. Very, very kind of you. <laughs> nearly done, nearly done. <laughs> Mine wouldn't last that long. Um, yeah, it's a normal Fitbit thing, Mr. Black. Um, I think most Fitbits shout at you if you don't do 250 steps an hour. So, and there's a lovely little chart on the app that shows you how well you've done each day. And I am very close to getting 12 out of 12 for seven days. We've done five. We're going to do it the weekend as well. And we are, we're off to a good start. This is nice. It's just, I'm getting like obviously in terms of like the graphics and the and the and the, the feel, the vibe, the energy. It is Sonic the Hedgehog, but it's a bit Gunstar Heroes as well. It's a little bit, a little bit Rocket Knight Adventures, which knowing knowing Sam is somewhat deliberate. Uh, Tommy, hello. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing good. Thank you, Tommy. Lovely to see you. Thank you for popping by and saying hi. This is a, uh, a one-off crossover for, for thee, for me rather, rather than thee. Um, 
Oh, look at now. Oh, now, as you can see, behind there is an advert for Spork Weekly. And that is, um, that's, a, that's a game coming out for the Steam, which is a game about a magical spork. I'm following the developers on, on Twitter, and I'm very excited for it. These are all little nods to stuff. And at the, at the uh, launch party, Sam did explain what they all meant. But I will admit, Sam, if I remember correctly, I might have had a fair bit of drink. Oh, yeah, here we go. Sporks time. There he is, by the way. Any uh, fans of a certain vintage of the internet? There's Mensky. There's Mensky. I feel strong swelling in my body. Inspired by a, a small podcast, a, a brief podcast dalliance that uh, Freak Zone Games, Sam and Mensky did, called Tower of Strong. <laughs> there is Mensky. Mensky is his hot Have to hang out with him at the party. A little fight here. Bubba Super TP Mega Trick, that's, a, that's, that's another thing. But I apologise if you escaped me. Dude from the actions video. That's the one. That's the guy. Yeah, well done to Cliff, who's, who's uh, been giving up smoking and making a lovely program. Good to, good to see. Every day it should get easier. But I, I've, I, I, I don't feel like I'm right to say that because I've not smoked. So, but I want to understand what people do know. That I wish you that. <laughs> right. Big shout to the balloons from. Is there a way I can collect the stars as they fall out without dying? Thank you, Charlie. I think you can do it too, eventually, when, when mentally you're in the right place. Melon heads balloons, they're totally not creepy. Tall goes pizza. Look at the signs behind. I'm not just saying random words. Oh! Melon head? Not like clown. Let's kill it. It's the nose in it. We gotta get him in the schnoz. Get the nose. Get the schnoz. What a terrifying creature. in mind of balls for some reason. <laughs> right. Mm. Boy. Mm. Go. Shoot ya. Got ya. And around and around around. I'm still got <laughs> I'm in constantly! <laughs> My life is pain. Right. No, no, I'm dead! Livid! Absolutely livid. Right.
Oh, I've lost all my arm. Oh, I've lost all my arm. I don't know if it's going to hurt loads. No! No! I was down to eyes! Over the age of 34 in constant pain is a mood. I know, right? <laughs> I know. Baddies based on me, says Cliff. What, are you a floating set of eyes and teeth? I do. Fun, fun, fun! Right. No more fun for you, you weird floaty head. Right. Where are you going, Sparky? The controls of the game are fine. I'm just crap at playing. <laughs> I'm in constant pain. Oh, here we go. Just the eye. Just the eye. The eye has it. The eye is done. There you go. Stupid clown head. This fellow is not nice. You're right. Hello, generic Kaiju. Kaiju. Nice to see you. Mm. Thank you very much indeed for coming by. Thank you for joining us today. If you just popped in and you're curious as to who the flippin' act this is, my name is Tom Campbell. I'm from Cultaholic, the wrestling side of the company. Playing a game made by a wonderful friend of mine that I had a, I had a role in. And uh, Triple Jump very kindly let me jump the metaphorical fence to come and play it on their stream, whilst your your erstwhile Friday leader, Jenkins, is away. I believe he is uh, cattle herding in the Baltic. Last I heard. I can't believe Tom managed to get to the game without losing any lives. That is the right answer. Right. Zippy through. Zippy through. Lovely. Yes, Charlie, this has Casino 95. Tom Dak 99, thank you very much for the follow. Lovely to have you with us. Thanks very kindly for being a part of what we do. You can watch as I die. As a thank you. As a thank you, you go watch and die. Very much appreciated. Let's drop down. Boom. Okay, so these these bits, you've got to get the timing on them. Pretty, pretty. Okay. Duck, duck, boop. Got him. Got him. What is this absolute carnage? Oh, this. I like how when they sit down, they're really cute. That always makes me. Like those big pink fluffy things. Um, I'd like, if you wouldn't mind, I know you're here just to chill. I wouldn't mind if you could do me a favor and just let me know when we get to 20 past 4. Seven grand out of the movie. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm doing all right. I'm not dead yet. I think like, as, a, as a gauge for life, that is a good one. This game seems like a really, like the good guy version of Hell Yeah, Wrath of the Dead Rapper. Ooh. That's got big furry vibes about it. I can't believe it. I'm so big and fussy. Can't say I'm not totally on the road. I'm your number 
one fan. Seriously, I killed all the others. Uh, save it for the. I like the the claw hands, especially. Sparky's marking out. That's right. Personal, kid. Sweet guns and fun. I'm not a complete loss for words. <laughs> um, uh, did you get killed anyone interesting recently? Hmm. Ask me again in ten seconds. Woo! Don't kill me. Heat meter. Oh, do you know what? She wasn't too far off. Ten seconds. Okay. The night, the night. They call you the night. Sweet. Ask me again. Why are you so nasty? Use these all on you. All of these girls. Leather in you with. The homing missiles are very useful for this particular bit. If you keep away from it. Oh, me help! No! No. Is there fan art of her yet? Says Charlie. Oh, I give it. Try, ask me again in ten seconds. Save it for the sweet guns and fun. I'm not a mm. Ask me again in ten seconds. Right, here we go. We're having her this time. Right, so keep on the move. Keep on the move. Keep on the move. On the move. Keep it on the move. Where can you find this game, Tom? Uh, it's available on Steam and on the Nintendo Switch now. It's about 11 quid. Yeah, Switch and Steam. Just type in Sparky, Spectacular Sparky. The platform needs what they I mean, they don't need it, but it's always nice to have it. Like, Sonic had a very loose plot. You didn't need to do much explaining for Sargnar as a head. This has not gone well. This run has not gone well. No, it has not gone well. What's the plot? Okay, so um, Sparky is a bounty hunter. And he's literally just going around different planets and different cosmoses collecting bounties. Uh, people of, of interest to governments and stuff, and he's killing them or bringing them in. And that's the plot. Sparky is a bounty hunter. And he's also a little bit of a... Uh, he's a bit of a... What's the word for it? Um, he's like being around people. Uh, not, not, not psychic, not, not maniacal. Um, a bit of a sociopath. That's the word I was looking for. Keep dying. He's a bit of a sociopath, this Sparky, which makes it all the more funny. Hence why he's obsessed with. This is the time. This one. I have a strong belief. He's Max from Sabermax. That's a good shout. Seriously, no clue. 
What am I? Am I? <laughs> you too, huh? Your buddy. Uh, I mean, this isn't over. Oh, she's away. Nightshade, I just had an idea. What if we, and bear with me here, what if we teamed up to collect the bounty? Yeah, why not? Classic Sparky Nightshade. I mean, a uh, nightshade sparky combo? Huh? Just you and me taking names, kicking scrollops, and trading gunfire? What do you say? Yeah, what do you say? I'm sure she didn't hear me. I'll ask her next time. Yay, we did it! We did it! We saved the kingdom! Ah, oh, look at this! We're on a train! So much of this game I've not seen. The Blonaparte Express calling at Blonaparte Square, Blonaparte Central, and the Blonaparte Reconstructive Center for mass cranial trauma. This Blonaparte service is brought to you by our benevolent and universally recognized leader, Sergeant Blonaparte. All hail, Sergeant Blonaparte. We know who that is, don't we? Like a good train level. It's good fun. Oh! Charlie, good shot. Look at the graffiti. That is a massive callback. A massive callback to Sonic the Comic. I love that. I love that a lot. That's very nice. Sonic the Comic, if you are from off of America, uh, Sonic the Comic is what we got over here instead of the Archie Sonic Comic. And it featured like a, a, a an editor, a guide through the series called Mega Blue. He was like, do like a welcome to, uh, welcome to the magazine, welcome to the comic type thing. And he'd answer questions, he'd answer letters from the letters page. Uh, and his name was Mega and that was his signature. Good job. Good job. It was indeed a sight of comfort. Passengers time. are asked to keep their arms, legs, and heads inside the train at all times, and their opinions deep, deep inside, <laughs> where the constant surveillance can't possibly unearth them. I think that's Ashens. I think that's Stuart Ashens. I know that Freak Zone's told me who's in it. It's fallen out of my head. I'm pretty sure it's Stuart Ashens. Honestly, there, there are so many people in this game. I'm just like the fact that I'm in it. Reminded that walking on top of the train while tantalising is not a viable method of departure. Remember, there is no escape. This is our life now, and we all must learn to live with it. JLS uh, says one of the people who worked on it was a lecturer at the game's art course at Seaside Uni. He was indeed. His name is Nigel Kitching. And if you, I did a podcast, I did a four part documentary on the history of Sonic the Hedgehog and there's a whole episode on Sonic the Comic in which I have a chat with Nigel Kitchen, which again, young Tom, he loses his mom. But that's a free podcast, you wish to download it. Oh, bleh. John Cena! Nabadoo! It is Dave Bulmer, it's not Stuart Ashes, what am I talking about? Dave Bulmer, of course it is. I meant, do you know what? My brain went Dave Bulmer. I don't know why I said Stuart Ash. Man and adorable space rabbit on top of carriage 32X. These are not part of Sergeant Bonaparte's bold new vision for the planet, and thus clearly do not exist. Please report for cultural reprogramming at our next stop. Which makes the Mega Droid thing even better. Because Dave Bulmer does a, uh, a podcast about Sonic and Comic. Makes it even better. Let's see what colour they are. Let's see what colour they are. Okay. Time to kill the weird train monster. Weird train monster. Floaty torso. What floaty torso? Oh, he's still looking pretty attacked. He's just heavy breathing as this chunky uh, boy's doing. Does that get me? He can get me, clearly. Watch my heat meter, like the radio said earlier. Yeah. 
heat meter thing's really good. Like, I know I'm, I ride it very close to the end, but it's good. And I'm going to die! And the heat meter's really good. Because it stops you doing what I'm doing, which is just mashing. The, uh, please, please. the shoot button. Stops me doing it. Boom, 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 boom. This game looks like a lot of fun. Skodes, it's great. It's, it's a nice little knockabout video game. Like they used to be back in my day. Back in my day, they used to all be like. There we go. Okay, this, this time. I think we've got him this time. I think we've got him this time. We haven't got him this time. <laughs> Am I correct in assuming this was made by Sonic fans then? It was made by a Sonic fan in Sam Beddoes. Not strictly a Sonic fan game, but he is a Sonic fan. So you're not completely wrong on that front. No, that was an awful attempt at a go at a game. Let's try this again. Okay. I like Sonic just a bit to this time. Oh, mate. This, it, it, in parts, this feels like a love letter. It's a bit Sonic. It's a bit Rocket Knight. It's a bit Gunstar Hero. It's all very nice. So nice. Top tip, try not to get shot by him. Thank you, Villa Fan Dan. Appreciate that. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> oh. I don't mean to skip over Dave Fulmer's excellent voiceover. No, you don't. If I just take like 30 seconds just to stop and just cal and calibrate. And the bullets are coming at me. I might just not be dropping. I might just not be dropping. We're getting it. <laughs> Sam, you do not need to apologize for not being active in the chat. It's just nice to have you there. Maybe we could try talking about our problems with the train guy. Lord Proctor, you are cool. We're going to... New strategy. It's kind of worked actually. I'm using the, I think, I think the homing guns are my favourites. Why well, I'm always sad when I lose. Lord Broadvick. Oh, 420. 420, blaze it. Thank I you for think telling there me. Would not be a better opportunity yes! to bust out some radio jokes with Mr. Radio himself taking over the stream. So buckle up. Blaze it! Blaze it! Average radio, stereotypical. Ha ha ha! Is that what we Can do? Do we just do we just land some addict. some brilliant jokes? That's it. Blaze it in the chat. Look at that. He could never go live on air. Ho ho ho! What did the Spanish radio host say after the broadcast? Billions. Ha ooh ooh. You've been practicing these clearly. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Brock. Big hundred bits. Thank you very much. B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B
We did it. We did it. Later. We are now approaching Bonaparte Square. Please cherish these last few moments of freedom, knowing that our names will be forever lost to history, much like our hopes and dreams. Oh no. Oh no. Not like this. Thank you for traveling, Blown Apart Rail. All hail, Sergeant Blown Apart. And you die. Right, do I get off? Hey, I just hang out. Lovely bit of blazing. Thank you very much for blazing it. 420 nailed it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Me first, last, and only 420 blazing. Thank you for cheering 42 bits. Stuff waffle, you are doing it absolutely right. Oh no, I didn't see them spikes. That's naughty. That's naughty. I didn't see them. That's naughty. Oh, this is. Oh, you mean man. This is a mean level. Not a fan. Sam, I'm not buying you a drink. That's me. Oh no. All right, so we're so we're going from. 0 to a billion on the difficulty then. Well, under to a billion, I guess. It's quite tricky to the last one. Little nod to Shovel Knight, I see there. Again, I know that um, Sam and the team have explained these references to me, and some of them may be lost in the annals of my brain. Peter Alcock. First time chat from Cameron. Hi, Cameron. Hope you are having a great Friday. Cameron, today is a great Friday. Thank you so much. It's even better now you're here. Thank you for popping by. Really lovely to see you. Sorry, I've been staying like that. Night terrors. Ah, uh, is it night terrors? I apologize. <laughs> Look at me, Sam, advertising your game so well. I know all the things. I died as well. I died. Did I die? That's not what we want. We're here for leet gameplay. Do the kids still say leet? I don't know. If not, let's bring back leet. Leet speak. Yeah, TikTok to friends reunited. Come on. Got him. Got him. Is it lit nowadays? Is it lit? Oh, it's lit! From the lead. The world may never know. Well, well, oh. well, what? Whoa! What's the matter, worst bucket? You never seen a man take 15 hellfire rounds to the pelvis and then beat the enemy to death with his own severed legs? There he is. You never seen a man scoop the pleasure remains of his dignity into 48 tons of rock hard military grade weaponry and grab the universe by the horns? Sir, not recently, sir. You febrile maggot. You think you've got the chops to tango with me? Sir, yes, sir. I am a cute, fluffy sociopath with an axe to grind. And I hear you're the mechanical marvel to make a man out of me, sir. But first, I gotta collect your bounty. Well, ain't that you cute? Uh, hey, wait a minute. Mama warned me about your kind. And your funny words, you puny scab wicked. I'm sweet enough already. <laughs> right. Oh no. Oh, I found a little sweet spot. I'm gonna hide under him. I'll eat you for friggin' breakfast, you little lab rat. I'm just gonna hide under him. Hey. I'm pretty sure I beat Dr. Robotnik in a level of Sonic in, in a way similar to Scientist for the bodywork? Where does he get off sending his mutant plush toy to tighten his screws? How dare you, sir? I'm a collectible at best. <laughs> you madness, you build. You think I'm scared of some hoot nanny horn dog with a pea shooter? Um, maybe? You seem like a pretty reasonable guy. Wrong, Rabbit. There ain't a bite of fear in this squishy mainframe I call my brain, and I should know. I ordered it. 
Stratus. All systems to 200%. Yes, Doom cannons. Pain receptor. Pain receptors activated. <laughs> Why is that even an option? <laughs> This is a strategy. Me being a great gamer. Yay! We did it with underhanded tactics. Under underbottomed tactics. Mainly. We did it. We're all heroes. As far as I'm aware, they don't use Leet Speak anymore, the kids. They do use it in tags on platforms like TikTok to avoid triggering any TCCs as platforms well, have that certain sure content being uh, I really think we had a connection there towards the end. Know the feeling, Sparks. Something in the air? You mean aside from the blood, gristle, and bullets? Cut to the chase, Pops. Who dies next? A certain space rabbit if you keep calling me Pops. <laughs> you and I both know who'd win that fight, Pops. Yup, can't argue with that. Next up is a creature called Bonsai. Big, ugly, mysterious. Your standard monster package. Nobody knows where it came from, but it's a hell of a grump and guilty of about five different crimes against reality. What the heck okay. does that even mean? Hey, don't ask me. I just enforce the law. I don't make it. You got a problem? Take it up with your local space representative. Uh, didn't we kill that guy? Oh, yeah. Democracy in action. Right. Oh, the mucus belt. This place looks like it's got a bad case of... Ugh. Surely there's a green for that. <laughs> I feel like that's something I would say. I don't know if I said that around Sam, then that's because of the idea. Where's the Big the Cat reference? Never! What exactly is this place? I want to no make it know so I know never to come again. Two types of people in this world. People who say that... People who don't like Big the Cat and lie. Thank you, Lolly. Um, I haven't done TikTok thing yet. I might, I, you know what? I might do a couple of TikToks on the Cold Holic thing tomorrow. My day off. I might do a couple of TikToks. Spin the cat, get in the bin. Spin the cat, if you will. Oh, Tom is not playing off Korean at time, by the way. I don't care how many times Nintendo re-release it for any release. We're never playing off Korean at time. I know you love I know people love off Korean at time. I had an experience playing it during lockdown. And it made me sad. And I don't want to play it anymore. I've done a lot of gym played off Korean at time and I got very sad. <laughs> Look at this ball! Oh, well, 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 well. I reckon I can. Now split this thing a new one. Sam. Phil. It's inflatable Phil, is what it is. You show that it's like, well, I think triple jump is about to get booted off of Twitch. Pretty grim creature. <laughs> it's quite well said. Nice. Oh, that's Did it. And that's something I'll never be able to unsee. <laughs> Ship's live feed is a piece of junk. <laughs> I see a good landing spot. Catch you later. Shika Sig. Ah. Nice! Spice Girls ref. Tiki little Spice Girls ref wrong. I like it. We did it! We cleared the stage and we saved the kingdom. Slime Hive. Oh. Who remembers? 
Who remembers the game Bob? B-O-B for the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis. Do we remember that game? All of a sudden, I'm getting that. And I'm getting Boogerman vibes as well. Another one. I guess that's it. Does anything. Oh, this is going to be a, a grotesque couple of levels. I invite it. I invite it. I invite your grotesqueness. Your grotesqueness is welcome, welcome. Right, here we go. Blast to you. Love the sound of the green thing. I feel like the mushroom. Oh, the mushroom. Oh, the robot ant, that's the one! Uh, Sam, that's the game. The story was that Bob was a naughty teenager who stole his dad's spaceship to go on a night out, crashed it, and now he's got to find all the pieces and get it back together before his dad finds it. That's the plot of, of B.O.B. of Bob. It up. It's, it's, uh, it won't go down in the annals. This is one of the greatest. But I, I own the copy. Proud of that. Or did I rent it from Blockbuster? I wonder if I rent it. Weird concepts of platforms, but oh my god, it was just throw everything at the wall. I think back then, <laughs> it really was throw everything at the wall. And do you know what? It's a little bit like that again now. We're kind of having this sort of, I mean, this is, I'm, this is me from a, an outsider's perspective, like you know, Ashton, Ben, and Peter will have a much better perspective on it than I do. It's their job. But I kind of feel like it's, it, there's, a, there's like a nice game renaissance at the moment because, like, the platforms are so wide open now. People are making more games, and there's more choice out there. I mean, more variety you now. It's stuff like this. If you're not into stuff like this, there's lots of other things. You know, it seems like it's a good time. I was in the cool spot. This is JLC, where for some reason they were like, "What if we made a game with the mascot from Seven Up?" Yeah, that was pretty much what they did. Pretty much what they did. Dutch Cycle Pack, thank you very much. Lovely to see you here. Thank you for chatting for the very first time. Nice to see you here too. Tell you what, hit me up in the chat with your favorite obscure platform game. Hit me up with your favorite obscure platform game. Do it. Working in the industry, I definitely see it helps with so many options. Yeah, I think so. Pepsi Man, what a start. Pepsi Man. The light of the, of the guy streaming. Pepsi Man was, was one of the more blatant ones. That and um, what was the one with Fido Dido? Panic Restaurant. Let me hop ahead. Go. I'm enjoying the obscurity. Sonic the Hedgehog's not really obscure, Dead Eye, but I appreciate the look. Very obscure one. A super, super Frog! What a shout, JLS! I remember Super Frog! Super Frog was pretty class. Boogerman, Pick and Flick Adventure. That was, yeah, I was reminded. I was put in, in reminder of Boogerman on this level. I, think. I also offer to you... James Pond, codename Robocod. James Pond, Rocket Knight Adventures. Yes, Deadeye, this is very Rocket Knight as well. Tom clearly hasn't played Dracula's Reebok Pond. Uh, I'd love to go, aha, jokes on you, but I'm intrigued. Tomba, yeah, Tom, Tomba counts. Peter's been playing that, hasn't he? I've seen Peter streaming that. He's had a little time playing Tom, but... Zool! Great job. Is Zool coming back? I heard a rumour. 
some rumour and innuendo that Zool was making a crap Silicon Space Station, Silicon Valley for the N64. I heard about this game, I never played it. I attempted to on the Switch to see if they'll let me emulate. Zool is coming back. That's the rumour I heard. And that's true, yeah. That's true, yeah. Jazz Jack Rabbit! Nice one, Dutch! Now, Jazz Jack Rabbit, that was a PS1 game, wasn't it? I feel like it was also on the PC, but I might be wrong. I seem to remember seeing it in. Oh, I, I seem to remember seeing it in Antics in Worcester for the PC. Right. New Zealand Story, says Jenny. What a lovely shout. New Zealand Story. That's the one I, I know is a, a really cutesy, wootsy platform game. And the one thing I remember about that randomly is that when you go into the water, you suddenly you suddenly find a snorkel. Even though you're deep underwater, you have a snorkel. Shadow Man on N64. Thomas was alone. It was the only puzzle platform I've ever completed. It made me cry. Loads of people had a very emotional reaction to Thomas was alone. Gex. Uh, GY Goliath shout of Gex. That's a good shout. I liked how Gex switched. Uh, from the first game, it was Leslie Grantham. Not Leslie Grantham. Um, oh, hello. What's the actor's name? Oh, hello. Him. Um, and then it became Danny John Jules in Dex 2. Like the, 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 the style completely changed. Leslie somebody. Uh, was the voice for Gex 1. Scotty, bring me back to Steve. Uh, Cliff, Alex Kidd was a dick. I got the, the remake. Really wanted to like it. Just nightmare. Like, not even, like, I don't mind the game being difficult. It was, like, unfair. Like, it was, it was unfairly difficult. Like, I didn't get any joy from cracking it. Yeah. Ah! Keep dying. Uh, Lolly says Disney's Aladdin. Got that for the PS4. They just re they released Aladdin and the Lion King as a double act. Leslie Phillips. Thank you, Trolling Badger. Leslie Phillips. Ah. Great voice acting. I got that. I got that from Blockbuster for the played the bones. DuckTales and the Genesis. I remember DuckTales, I were personally more connected to the Lucky Dime Caper starring Donald Duck, the Sega Master System. I remember that was a nightmare. Because obviously, you know, this is back in the day where you had to do it all in one day. You, you couldn't save. So you had to get it all done in one go. I remember getting really close to completing it and then I pulled the plug out and I passed the whole thing. I have to bust out my CD32. You've got a CD32? That's incredible. Uh, Quackshot. No, Quackshot was a different game to the Lucky Dime cake starting on the so, uh, Quackshot and Lucky Dime were different games. Mystical Ninja starring Gomon. Dash, dash, dash. Team is face the box. Yeah, multiple characters. A lot of fun games. Huh? Uh, I'm getting too distracted talking about brilliant your platform. I'm not focused. Mainstream powerful platform classic. It is in front of our area. Oh. So Tom, one way you drafted to triple jump. Uh, well, I was drafted uh, about two hours ago. Uh, I, I I approached. I had a chat with Ben last week and just said, "My mate put the game out. I really want to play it. And I think it makes more sense to do it on your screen than ours." And, and he's I very tiny. Let me on. Fun of Big the cat. Are you Everyone are you going over the road? Hope you're well. Was hoping to be here at the start you want, of the you want stream, to but the course meeting was longer than expected. Do it. 
so I can only hop in to give some bits but hope you're having fun here on TJ. For those who may not know Tom, I get to talk to him once a month and it's a really fun time. Putting aside our differences in Sonic game tastes LOL. All right, all right. Well, I might see you later. If not, have a nice weekend. See you later. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. I'll be out till about, I think, about quarter to seven. I've not got a costume. I've got a computer dress. Oh, I'll go as Joe Gacy. I'll just wear it when I'm wearing. See you later, mate. Later. A bit of life admin from Jack. Jack, Jack, another Jack. JD Bradshaw. Heard someone was making fun of Big the Cat. Yes, they were. Hoping to be here at the start of the stream. Of course, rep meeting was longer than expected. We're well, glad that you're here now. Nice to have you here. Putting aside differences in night taste, we do get on quite well. Uh, the forbidden door slightly kicked open. There. You got a little, little insight into some life admin. Back on this week. Yay, we did it! Jack's in the room, hi then. Yay! We did it. I need to send an email. Apologies, like a few bits of life admin. Uh Hi, thank you for setting up today. Do you have your life admin? Sorry about this. I'm very rudely sending an email. The rest. <laughs> Watch Tom send an email. Uh, da, 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 da. Talk amongst yourselves. Cool. Uh, <laughs> football lads opening the forbidden door to video game lads. It's just forbidden doors just swing left, right, and centre right. Ooh, we got we got the rockets back. We got the rockets back. Tom can play email simulator. It's my favourite game. Yeah. Tom admin. Oh, you wouldn't want to be my admin. Actually, I say that. I talk a big game. I'm a bit rubbish at it. I tend to book a lot of stuff here. The joke is I'm just always busy. I'm notoriously busy. And I just, what I tend to do is I arrange stuff. I go, yeah, I can do that tomorrow, no problem. And then about an hour later, I'll go, oh, wait, I can't. Because I've four other things. <laughs> yeah, my, my admin skills are lacking. Because I just want to do everything. Ooh. I thought I was going to grab them. Boom. Boom. Oh, no. I thought that was it then. I thought that was curtains. Go! I'm going! You nuisance. Going now, am I? Stephen, I am I am next to next to the Prime Minister and the President. They're not the Prime Minister. Next to the President of America. I am the business now. I am well busy. No, I'm still alive. I thought I did a die. I thought I did a die, but I didn't. The die had not done done happened. Oh no! Step on the spring. Is. There you go. I like how the stars bounce around. Oh gosh. The stars bounce around the, the springy fungus as well. That's a nice touch. Oh, whoa, hello. Look at this cutty boy. Four arms? You mean four arms? 
You only have four arms. No, I have four forearms. I have two arms, each with two forearms, making four forearms. Why can't anyone get this? <laughs> oh, gotcha. The name's Two One Star Ear. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Forty Four Arms. <laughs> Slice and dice! Oh, sorry, I got distracted. That was replying to my significant other. Message earlier than I forgot to do. All go at this. Oh, and then I died. Right. <laughs> sorry, bear with me. Right. Oh, hello. Right, gonna need to split so I can go for a quick stretch, but hope you quick have stretch. an amazing so what, you rest a cat? of the day, Tom. And I'll see you on next week's Love Year by Chat. The yes, game is called Big Death Stare. Yes, you will indeed. Take it easy. Don't share that Big the Cat nonsense in here, though. You really think you can have four four arms? The great four? Where are the other three? No, you idiots. There's not four of me. There's only me. Four four, four, four arms. Four four arms? I like this. Oh. The dialogue's so good. I, I have a feeling that Sam might have shown me some artwork for four four arms. Or a bit of the dialogue. I remember... Being a little bit terrified, a little bit around. Oh, what? This is going to be. Oh, I remember you showing me this, Sam. Oh, S Sam, you bugger. I remember you showing me this. This looks awful. And and, and I, I mean, like, in the best way possible. Like, nightmarish. To be. I remember this now. I've caught little glimpses of this game in production, and I remember 4-4 four, four arms, and I remember thinking, nope, 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 and here we are, fighting 4-4 four, four arms, for goodness sake. For goodness sake, shaky Jake. I think when I played this, I couldn't beat 4-4 four, four arms, and I just went, can we go to the pub now? <laughs> Look at my strategy! Shooting the legs. Oh no, I wasn't prepared for this. Oh no, I've got to weather this storm. There we go, I weathered it. I weather beat it. Oh, he's taking off like a I died. Right, come on. If it's the last thing we do, we're gonna beat this boy. Because it's nearly five o'clock. It is nearly Pierre Oh, Yeah, let's do it. This time. We'll get it right this time. Or is it? I think it's a bacon cake. I know. No, no, no. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Died in the same bit again. Okay, come on. Come on, everybody. Positive vibes only in the chat. No, four forearms? No. Yeah, yeah, four forearms! I don't know, you've got loads of arms and they're all rubbish as far as I <laughs> Tom won't stop streaming until he beats four forearms. Very likely. Very like. <laughs> right. 
Keep dying on four forearms. Don't like it. Is there a strategy here that I'm missing? Or is it just... I, the, the ducking strategy seems to be a good one. I've just got to keep me distance. That's right. Just straight into the line of his swords. Here we go. Here we go. This feels good. This feels good. Feels good. Feeling good. He gets me every time with this. Let's stay away from him. Keep our distance. That's it. That's the bit we keep dying on. That's the bit we keep dying on. We have made progress. If nothing else. Stay away from me, you weird. No! Ah! Maybe you need to be above him when he brings all four blades down. That is not a bad shout, JLS. Thank you. Let's try it. That was a good shout, that. That was a good shout. That. We're, we're close to this. Oh, oh, overheating already. This is the ducking strategy. It's going very well. Oh, get above it. No! Get above him and I tried. Have I tried not dying? Matt, I haven't tried not dying. That's the next thing I'm going to try. Oof. I'm st I've got, I might have to do some steps again in a minute. I definitely have to do some steps after this attempt. Definitely have to do some steps after this attempt. Structures. Oh, this is a bad. This one not going as well. Good shout on the arm of power up. Flipping it. Right, I'm going to pause it for a second because I've got to get my steps in. In case you missed this earlier on, uh, I am currently uh, wearing my Fitbit, which I have been wearing for quite some time. And what I've been doing is all week, I've been hitting the the 12 hour step target, which means that you've got to do 250 steps per hour for 12 hours of the day. So what I'm doing now is making sure that I hit it by just pacing around the room. Da 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 I hope you're having all a lovely day. And we're gonna come back Da, 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 da. Right, I'm gonna. So I'm just trying to get all my steps in before the end of because I've been on a hot streak all week, whereby I've hit the 12-hour target every single day since Monday, and I'm keen to get to the end of the week and have that target intact. I did a podcast today that went about three and a half hours, in case you missed this earlier. And uh, I managed to keep my steps in for all that time. And I'd be so sad if we get to the end of the week and it's just this final little bit. So I appreciate your patience. 
we will come back we will finish off this bad boy and we will call it a night on the old streamer rooney i think the kids call it a streamer rooney if memory serves right we're nearly done with the 250 steps 30 to go it's roughly 230 i doubt it's a fine science as long as the app says i've done 250 that's all i'm worried about da, 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 da. five six seven eight there we go 250 done thank Keep you for your patience on. right you wonderful human back being. Keep it up. Thank you, Scotty. Appreciate. Off we go. I need my headphones. Let's give this another run, shall we? Here we go. Here we go. Right. Woo! Thank you for the 100 bits, Scotty. That's very kind. Slice and dice you. Slice and dice. Maybe moving around is giving me some sort of weird kinetic energy. Oh my god. Get off! Okay. Uh... Here we go. into him off this bouncy thing oh right the bouncy thing knocked me backwards i am furious i've got the armor lord brotovic thank you for coming in today it has been lovely to see you all the best for tonight appreciate you coming by and saying hi Taking the shoe in. Oh. I don't think flying above him helps. I wish it did. Right, we've only got the one. Thing we can use doing our best with it no 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 get off me Flip it out. Mm. right come on we're gonna beat four forearms i will not stop streaming till we beat four forearms yep 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 i mean lovely dialogue like the dialogue we need to crack on and batter this boy And dash and shoot. And dash and shoot. And dash and shoot. 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 Oh no. Oh god! I dashed and shot, dashed and shot, and it wasn't enough. Apparently. So all men are created equal. You look at Tom and you look at four forearms and you see that statement. It's not true. Isn't it true? Isn't it just? Right. That's it. You keep using the other sword. That's fine. I don't know why he's using the other sword. I ain't complaining. I got some armor from that though, so that was good. Got a bit of armor. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, he, the way he drops down gets me as well. Right. Here we go.
Get away! Oh! Four four arms! More like rubbish, rubbish arms, am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Right, come on. Come on! Get away with you! Like we hear Fort Boyard music slightly in the background. I don't quite know. I don't quite know. I'm going to give this one more go. It might cut you down to size. I'm going to give this one more go. And then we're going to call it a time on the stream. I don't want to end on a... This won't be a low note. It's been a brilliant game. That's it. This, but this has nobbled me. And we are out of time. So, apologies if I've gone very quiet. And I'm not my normal banter-tastic self. We've got some concentrating to do. Yeah, snippy, snippy, snip. Armor. Got armor. Right. Okay, the armor's going to help. Armor's going to help. Get away. Oh. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, right. We're done. One more. <laughs> One more go. One more crack at this bad boy. One more crack. One more crack. Right, we've got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full forearms. Full forearms. Right. There we go. Getting you. Up, 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 get away. Oh, we kinda survived. Yes. No! Right, that's it. We're done. <laughs> we are done with Sparky. That is, that'll do us. That'll do us, I think. That'll do us. Let me uh, pop mute on the desktop audio just like that. Or better yet, I think I just closed the game down. Don't try. I mean, just, when I'm done, just shut the game down, I think, was the instructions. There we go. Stop that there. No, I don't want to continue. Hang on. No, we're not doing slime hive again. Quit and quit. There we go. <laughs> Sorted. There we go. Whoo! There you go. Well, look, we didn't. Hey, look, we didn't beat four forearms. Uh, thank you for the. The bit stuff waffle. Seems like perfect time to ask a question. Will there be a SmackDown review tomorrow? There will not be a SmackDown review tomorrow. Unfortunately, uh, we got our schedule very busy today, which meant that Math and I couldn't record uh, a brand new classic SmackDown review, but it's back next week on the Cultaholic podcast feed as normal. But Math and I are on the podcast this week, as well. Obviously, Jack's there as well, because he's one of the king boys of the podcast, but I'm guesting on the podcast this week. So there is that. There is that. 
Um, thank you so much for coming by today. Now, that was Spectacular Sparky. It's a game made by my wonderful friend Sam Beddows from Freak Zone Games. Uh, thank you for letting me be a part of it. Uh, a small part it was, I'm just honoured to be a part of, of what you put together. Thank you so much indeed. It's such a fun game. It's available now on the Nintendo Switch and on Steam. So really, no excuse to not be playing it. It's definitely worth a go. Uh, shall we, let's see who's around to raid, shall we? Who is uh, some of the creators that uh, the boys love that we can get raid in? Um, well, I know that uh, Andrew is on the Cultaholic Twitch stream in about an hour's time, but until then, let's go see Don't Rage Quit. She's playing Little Nightmares. We're gonna raid Don't Rage Quit. That'll be a fun time. Let's do that. Right, we're doing it. Brilliant. Hey, thank you so much. This has been really fun. Uh, keep subscribed to Triple Jump for more great stuff from Ashton, from Ben, and from Peter. And stay on their YouTube channel as well for the latest from them too. This has been a deep joy to be a part of this today. Thank you so much for letting me come and badger you. I'm Tom Campbell from Cultaholic. I will see you when I see you. Stay safe and love you. Bye.